Wow, that's a lot of fireworks. And what was Mr. Holy shit, is that a finale going on? And what was Mr. Yeah. Ungar doing at the time? Don't worry, it's not done. <laughs> he was taking a nap. Oh. He was worn out from his mini performance as the Nickel Samurai during the ceremony. Hmm. Mr. Ungarde did say he was taking a nap. Then I guess you could say that it could not have been taken out of his room. Yes? Excuse me? It? What are you... OBJECTION! Oh. Right. I thought years of school have taught you how to construct a sentence. If you can't make a sensible sentence with the subject, then I'll make one for you. Watch! Okay. Mm. Did you, Miss Andrews, remove Mr. Ungarde's knife from his room? No. <sighs> Subject, verb, object, right. Did you skip basic grammar? The witness may continue. Wow, Edgeworth, way to be a fucking asshole. Way to be an uneducated piece of shit. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> After that, I went to Juan's room. Let's press it. Why did she even go there? <clears throat> and why did you do that? As a friendly gesture, Juan was gonna make an appearance with the other heroes. So the show was supposed to be a show of friendship, huh? Do we want to press further? I don't know. I I, I mean, there's no no wrong we could do. Fuck it, right? press it. I just said, don't go on head on. Yeah, we're going head on, baby. Fuck what Mia said. I'll take you on, headstrong. Take her. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Is that the only reason? I beg your pardon. What are you implying? You had a certain goal in mind when you started to get close to him, correct? So perhaps you had a more personal matter to discuss with the victim, like his dick. Or the suicide note. <laughs> or that. I guess that's true. Sorry, but I didn't have any such intentions in mind at that time. At that time? I mean, I can't get her to talk without a strong piece of evidence, I guess. May we continue now? Witness, what did you see when you entered his room? Damn. Well, we tried. Um, let's see. A dead body, you're in shock. Why would you be in shock? Let's press it. You were in shock? What does that even mean? What? Was I not supposed to be? No, because you fucking killed him so you would expect him to be dead. Also, Miss Andrews is a very calculating person. And despite how close they were, I doubt she had romantic feelings for Mr. Karina. Anyone randomly stumbling upon a dead body would be in shock. And you can't seriously expect that a young beauty like her would not be shocked. Somehow, I don't think beauty has anything to do with being shocked or not. Mm, I see. Oh, hey, Judge. <laughs> see, uh. Um, you won't switcheroo. Dude, what you saw in the photo? I don't believe that for a second. Press it! Oh my god. This is the photo you're referring to, correct? Yes, the one with the knife lodged in its chest. And the guitar case was like this too. Yes, it was open and empty, of course. And then, what did you do next, witness? Alright, this part's fucking weird. Yeah. Juice. Juice. <laughs> yes, there was a bottle of tomato juice on the table, so I helped myself. But you didn't drink any of it, did you? Huh. There were no lip marks left on the wine glass to suggest that anyone drank from it. Unless you waterfalled it or something. I... <laughs> I... I wasn't feeling terribly great, so I set the glass down. Without drinking it. 
Miss Andrews, I would like to confirm with you on one more time. When you discovered the dead body of Juan Carita, you were in great shock. And that's when you poured yourself a glass of juice, yeah? And what of it? My mind really was a complete blank at the time. Your mind was a complete blank? I didn't think that was possible for you. Aren't you rude today? No. I was so dazed that I made one careless mistake. That one thing. What one thing? Um, never mind. No big deal. What was she starting to say just now? Uh, let it go. Shit. Let it go. Just please. let it go. She's fine. Are we actually letting it go? No, slam that shit. Slam that <laughs> shit! <laughs> Miss Andrews! I'm convinced that, as you said, you made a mistake at the scene of the crime. What I really want to know is what this mistake was. Hmm. Actually, yeah, me too. Thanks, Edgeworth. I... I'm sorry, it's just... It's kind of... Embarrassing. You pee yourself? When I... When I set the glass down on the dresser... I accidentally knocked a flower vase over. Wow! Look at my pants! I do like those pants. Flower vase? No, you're talking about the one on the floor, the crime photo. Wow. This... Mess of glass shards. It was originally on top of the dresser, but when I bumped into it with my elbow, it fell onto the guitar case. <clears throat> Why did you withhold such an important piece of information? You're sweaty. The condition. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that since crime scene was already in disarray that people would simply assume the vase was just another part of the mess. It looks like yet another fact has come to light here. Please add this and anything else you have to reveal to your testimony, Blue Quistis. I'm sorry, but I have nothing more to add. I didn't touch anything else. Mm hmm. Huh. Hmm. Where it fell into the guitar case. Yeah, the guitar case is open. Here, it's, it's, it is open. It doesn't so look like there's any shards in there. Yeah, let's press that again. What kind of flower vase was it? It was a glass vase, and it was fairly big and heavy. I thought I would try to take Juan's pulse, so I set the glass I was holding down on the dresser, and that's when my elbow accidentally hit the vase. That's odd. I thought she was always in total control of herself. Just throwing bows like crazy. That's what she would like people to think. Always. How did she read his thoughts? Yeah, it, it <laughs> I've been seems wondering like a... that this whole game. Yeah, it, when did it Pearl get like... tits? Are, are you really questioning the Pearl Tits thing now? After all this no, time? I, um, I wasn't here. Oh. Yeah. It's Mia! That's... Also, my biggest thing right now is the whole, like, sequence of events. Because apparently she saw the body, then poured a drink, and then wanted to take the pulse. Yep. Pretty much. It makes more sense in the Japanese version. It's not tomato juice. It's wine. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh that still doesn't make sense. Well, I don't know calm, if you stumbled down. on a dead body. The sequence of events doesn't make sense. You want to yeah, drink some Yeah, that's wine. what I'm saying. But that still, means yeah. she's telling fibbery. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Always be mindful of the gap between the perception and reality. It doesn't the sound store. like there's source around. Any glaring contradictions in her testimony just now. 
I warned you earlier that she would not crack so easily, like a vase. The only way to make her is to keep on the offensive like a football. The only way you're gonna get to catch her is with some very strong and decisive evidence. I have to find something. I just have to. For Maya's sake. Help me, Nick. Wow, she's dead. I but... thought she escaped, didn't she? Um, I don't remember. She was in that wine cellar and then like... Yeah, she... like something happened, but... I, I... I thought she got out. I feel like she... Oh. She was trying to get out, but I don't know if she actually got out, though. She got the door open. Yeah. yeah. I bet she's gonna charge you to the courtroom and be like, It was me! I did it! And then she'll be fine. The only I'd also like to point out, okay. I'm celebrating your day of independence by drinking tea. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Damn, dog. Well, give me some I... of that tax free tea, please. I'm just kind of. Well, the guitar case itself here, it says there's some water, but. There is some water, water, but only on the top of the lid, right there. And in the crime photo, there's only, there's no glass inside of it. Yeah, I think so... we can present either or. I think I want to present the guitar case when it well, says fell onto the guitar case. Well, the water is explained now by where the water or that came from. The water right, bottle. but she says the, the guitar case is already opened. Right. So that makes no sense. Okay. So who opened the guitar case? Right. So I'm going to... No, I got balls. I'm going to fucking present the guitar case. I think it's crime photo. You think crime photo? Yeah, because it's open. And it's probably both. It might be both. Fine, you Which do one? it. Uh, no. Alright. Well, oh, we'll... wait, 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 wait. What's the up? guitar case, it says empty. There is some water, but only on the top of the lid. That's right. from the vase. So the va it, so it was closed. Yeah, right. When it was knocked over. Yeah, that's my argument. And okay, Ru yeah. Russ thinks it's also the same thing, but with the, the photo. Like, both can be the same thing. Because it shows it open there. But we already, di we already discovered that part. I think we we need to point out the fact that it does have water on top of the case. Because that yeah. has not been presented before. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, we'll present the guitar case on. I was the one who knocked the flyer vase over where it fell on onto the guitar case. Present the guitar case. Okay. Objection to your shit. You testified that you knocked the flower vase. Vise. 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 People, people were complaining how you we were saying it. Vise. 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 Over. Is this correct? Vise. And are you sure it fell onto the guitar <laughs> case? It's. There's some problem with what I said. It's not some problem. It's a major problem. It's true that the top of the guitar case was wet with water. However, that's exactly what is so strange. Miss Andrews! You testified that the vase, vase vase, fell onto the guitar case. However, if that was true, the case should have gotten wet on the inside, not the outside. Lies. Pants. That's very true. Furthermore, there is one other strange thing about this guitar case. What is that? Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. Do we have to? Yes. Bugger. The remains I've of drawn the... on mine. Oh, look at mine. The remains of the vase are scattered on the floor. And oh, that's you. Then what is wrong with that? If the guitar case sure. was, I don't, know, I don't know. If the guitar case was out, if the guitar case was open when the vase fell, the glass shard should be inside the case, not the outside. Yeah, tag team. Yeah. Vaz. <laughs> Objection. What is the point, right? What? Christ. That <laughs> the case was closed at the time the vase was knocked over? Is that all? <laughs> no. Think back to what Miss Andrews testified to. 
She said that the other than the vase was, she didn't touch anything else. No. <laughs> yes, that's right. She did implicitly say that she didn't touch the guitar case. Don't touch it. But this whole matter with the guitar case is a dead end. The bright red guitar was found at the studio. It has no bearing on the case at all. Oh. It may very well be. However, in a guitar case, does seem to have no relation to this case. Edgeworth, if you object to me again, I'm going to bitch slap you out of my cold room. Try me. Bring it, bitch. It seems that there is no deeper meaning to the guitar case. Well, Mr. Wright, do you think that we need to hear more details about the guitar case? Oh, shit. What do we do, man? Uh... Uh, what do we do, bro? What do you think, Edgeworth? What do I think? You should let him be. God damn it. No, man, you had a self-discovery where you knew that it all mattered. Even if you lose, you have to find the real bad people. I just went to Burning Man you for a while. You also went to Burning Man. That's where you discovered it, because the shrooms. Shrooms, Edgeworth. Oh, of course. Okay. I don't know, you caught her in the lie, right? Pretty much. I'd make her testify. Alright, man. Testify. Look, Jesus. The empty guitar cabayes. I believe this is a crucial piece of the puzzle. <laughs> I can't believe anyone has reached for straws like this, but it is you. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this either. Alright. I'll follow along. For now. Blue Quistis, please testify to the court about the guitar case. Yes, Your Honor. Can I just say, her blue shirt is really, like, it complements the pink thing she always has. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't remember too clearly, because I was a bit dazed. I suppose I must have opened the guitar. What a word! Now you know how I feel. <laughs> now you I know. Had a stroke. <laughs> I suppose I must have opened the guitar case after I knocked the vase over. It's not Damn. a wow. Save me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big deal, though, right? The case was empty after all. As for why I opened the case, even I don't know. <laughs> That's not very good. That was... bullshit. Not even very important, really. This wastefulness is such a familiar feeling by now that it's almost... Comforting. Mm. Um, well, anyway, I'll just go ahead and start the cross-examination now, you bunch of dicks. <laughs> Using any way to change a topic, a convenient escape for a weak man. Yeah, well, nice hair. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Hypocrite. Let's see, okay, so... Bo -bo -do. I was, must have opened the guitar case after I knocked the bass over. That doesn't make any sense, why would you? Press it. So, uh, you opened the guitar case then. Are you being attacked by fireworks? Y yes. Okay. Don't die. Well... Sorry. Maybe? Oh. I pressed the wrong thing, god damn it. <laughs> Why did you open the guitar case? Uh huh. Mr. Creed's dead body was right there in front of you, wasn't it? I would think that the first thing you would do is call for help, not open a guitar case. No objection! As the witness has said multiple times, when she found the dead body, <clears throat> She was dazed. Air quotes. And confused? Maybe. Mm. Oh. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> God. Maybe I... 
Maybe I was curious to know if the bright red guitar was alright or not. I thought maybe the criminal took it. Why would she care about the bright red guitar? But getting back on topic. So she was looking for the suicide note. Oh. I see. At least that's what I think. Huh. I bet you the suicide note was inside the guitar the whole time. Or just in the case. But inside the guitar, then like every time he plays it, it's always just in the hollowness of the guitar. <laughs> that's so hype, man. Booky. Yeah. That's that's actually pretty fucked up, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, it's not a big deal though, right? The case is empty after all. You wanna press that? Uh probably should. That's why I opened the case, even I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll press the it's not a big deal, right? The case is empty after all. What is it? <sighs> really empty. What? I was just oh, wondering. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I just smack the dog. <laughs> don't smack the dog! God damn! <laughs> I turned to pet him and his head was right there. Alright, we have animal abuse on stream. Get bonked. Live stream fails, take two. Alright, cool. I was just wondering if maybe when you opened the case. The guitar was still inside. No objection! Oh shit. How long have you been a lawyer, Mr. Wright? Have a little professionalism. The bright red guitar was found at the studio. These trials would be over in half the time if you would just pay attention. Yes, pay more attention, Mr. Wright. Sorry, guys. Fuck. Press that one, that's weird. Was that because you were shocked and dazed at discovering the victim's body? Yes, that's probably it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna get anywhere if I continue to press it like this. The only way to make her talk is with evidence. Guess I should give it a try. Come on, Phoenix. Can't afford to let her up now. I wasn't planning on letting her up and stuff, but she's at her weakest now, so this is our chance. Yeah, if we had a weapon to hit her with, we could just. I'm sure a weapon is hiding somewhere in the court record, waiting to be found. That's pretty Fuck fucked up. up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see. What do we I got? I accidentally pressed that. The first one. Yeah. Was there anything actually important? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's see. Lada's photo. I'm gonna check out Lada's photo, because it's the last thing we got here. Okay. This is the samurai. That's the samurai, okay. So, what else do we got here? And the, the stuff, there's the crime photo. I bet you the real weapon was the bottle. No. Okay. Well... What kind of weapon, though? What are they talking about? Talking about evidence being a weapon. Yeah. Oh, uh, they weren't talking about a real weapon. <laughs> okay. No, right. baby. Okay. That makes a lot more sense here. What's up with the juice? Can you look at the juice for me? Oh, look the at delicious the juice. juice. Oh, look at the juice. There you go. It was juice. Look at the juice. It's juice, juice, yeah. juice, juice. Just the click of the juice. Uh, I clicked on the juice and then really much happened. Sure, what was Hey, wait, 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 go back. What? Look at the back, what? Back. what? The guitar case, read it. I already read it. We've already cut, we already presented this. Read it again. We? But it has Karita's fingerprints, not her fingerprints. Oh. Oh, oh that's where we present the guitar case. Guitar case that where she said she knocked over the vases. Yeah, yeah, I suppose I must have opened it. That was true. Your fingerprints be on this, you winch. Uh -oh. You were wearing gloves. <laughs> I fucked Because you were the samurai. Alright, let's see. In order to clear those with days, I suppose I would have opened it after I know. Okay. All right. So we'll present the case again then. Oh man, I love bottle rockets. I don't. Me neither. All right. Well, we will present the case again. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Where are you doing that? 
I suppose I must have opened the guitar case after I knocked the bass over. Let's guitar case it up. Guitar case it up. Oh. Objection. Objection again, bitch. <coughs> there is just no way you were the one who opened that guitar case. Why would you say that? It's elementary, dear Quintus. Was it? Yes. Quistus. Because the only fingerprints on this guitar case are those of the victim and the roadies. Oh. Rabble. 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 What is it, terrible Samus cosplayer? <laughs> I try. <laughs> kind of is like Zero Suit Samus, actually. You shouldn't assume that I must have left Prince just because I touched the case. What do you mean? What if I were to tell you that I was wearing gloves at the time? That doesn't make sense then. But she was in the costume. And silly. there's also fingerprints of her shit on her fucking glass. That doesn't oh make any sense. Why the fuck would you be wearing gloves at that time? This is the night of the award ceremony, so of course I dressed up for the occasion. Yes, now I remember. I'm almost sure I was wearing a pair of thin gloves. Well, the bullshit comes thick and fast with you, doesn't it? I see. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, it seems that the witness was wearing gloves at the scene of the crime. That is strange, because there's on the glass her fingerprints strange. are on it. Strange, strange, strange. Right there. That's fucking strange. bullshit. That's strange. 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 Life is so strange. Court is strange. You were wearing gloves. Isn't You're that a strange. little fucking wrong? Why is that strange? Do you have something that would prove I was not wearing gloves? Yeah, yeah dumb this bitch. Look juice. at this juice. This wine glass full of juice. I have your proof right here. This juice. The wine glass? No, the juice. Juice. You left oh, your fingerprint. Oh, the Yeah, not- okay, maybe the wine glass. Vaz. <laughs> you left your fingerprints very clearly on this wine glass. Bitch. Fuck. Even if you took your gloves off when you poured yourself this glass of juice, you wouldn't- you think it was just a little... Weird. Strange. Strange. That you put your gloves back on just to open the guitar case? Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh. How did you have another pair? What? How many times? Like so Those come prepared, bitch. Those are expensive. Like Wesker. <laughs> <laughs> Rabble. Lord up, Lord up, Lord up. Looks like you hit the nail on the head of this one this time, man. Good job. Huh? Nail in the glasses. What do you mean? I believe that guitar case plays a very important role here. But it's just an empty guitar case. I wonder if it really was empty, though. But, but the guitar. The bright red guitar was at the studio. Phoenix, drop all your presumptions. What was in the guitar case was not the bright red guitar. You don't mean... It was a bright white guitar! Wait, that's not right either. Okay. What if the note was written on like a guitar pad <gasps> and it was actually guitar shape? Damn. It's a it's a guitar note. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. I admit it would be unnatural for someone to do <coughs> Good enough, Judge. Oh no. So the witness was not wearing gloves, despite the fact that on the case. No objection! You're oh, for fuck's sake! This is obviously the defense is usually a misdirection tactic at work. Dear the court to direct towards Word. an unrelated topic and lull us all into his misguided. Ah, bah, 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 bah. No, Your Honor, please recall that Miss Andrews had testified that the vase or vase fell onto the guitar case, which means that the case was closed when the crime took place. However, it is wide open in the photo of the crime scene. 
I am sure this guitar case has some relation to the murder. No objection! If you are so sure, Ro. 